Hey YouTube, it's Charlie from Reader Trend Writer. Today I am sharing my goals for June of 2020. I cannot believe that it is already June. I love the warm weather, so I'm really excited that we are moving into more summery type weather. It has been getting into the 90s this week for us. The warm weather definitely makes me very excited about life, which makes me more motivated in general. So I am pretty excited to share with you my goals in my bullet page this month, and I'll just jump right into that. So I have my goals broken up into three main areas. The first are my writing goals. I am currently on the third draft of a Rapunzel retelling and in the brainstorming phase of a Cinderella retelling. I have one goal that I have every month, and this is to write every day. I am going for a year streak of writing every day, even if it's just a little bit. Right now, Monday through Friday, I am working on editing my second draft for at least half an hour. On Saturdays, I edit whatever section I am uploading to my writing group and upload that. And on Sundays, I write a blog post on my personal blog. My main writing goal this month is to finish editing my second draft. I have gone through and marked areas to change on a printed out version of it. And now I am going through actually making those changes, some of which are pretty extensive. I have gotten ab about halfway in May, and I think it's possible for me to finish this round of edits this month. I am not really setting any goals for my Cinderella project. I had set goals for it last month, and because I was so focused on editing my Rapunzel one, I didn't really do much for it. I have been thinking through some of the world building and plot while doing other things, like showering, and I'm going to accept that as enough for now. Moving on to my reading goals. My yearly reading goals are pretty evident in my monthly TBR, where I break down what categories I pick books from. So I'll link that down below if you want to go check out how I make progress each month on those yearly goals. But each month I have a goal to read between 10 and 12 books. I want to read a minimum of 10 books, but I also try not to read more than 12. I had a set time I wanted to read for an hour each day last month, and I didn't stick to that at all. This month I want to read for at least an hour, five days a week. Some days I find I'm so busy I hardly have time to read, but I don't mind that as long as it's occasional rather than the norm. I also want to try to identify something from each book that I like and think about how I could use it in my own works. This is a starting point to help generate brainstorming. I obviously will not be stealing things from books. I said I wanted to do this last month, but I didn't do it with a single book because I forgot about it. So this month I'm going to put a reminder in my bullet journal where I will see it so that it can help me not to forget. My YouTube goals are pretty minimal this month. The main thing I want to do is some market research. My videos are not really growing in reach. I want to find some ways to help my channel grow. So specifically what I want to do is I want to find two types of videos on AuthorTube that are popular that I'm also interested in doing and then try making some of my own type of that video. While I'm doing the market research and trying new things, I do want to continue to do at least two videos per week. And I want to keep at least one of those in my bullet journal format because I do like that format. Related to my first goal, I want to try more blog format videos to do in conjunction with my bullet journal video format. This will also include some market research as I have never really watched very many vlog type videos. So those are my main goals for the month. I am really excited to continue to make slow and steady progress on my goals and to enjoy some of the warm weather outside. What are some of your goals for June? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for lots of writing content. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in the next one.